so much cuter with the bracelet. Picked up a couple things for the coffee bar and for the recipe. I wanted to quickly show you what I got from Bath and Body Works. So we need to set the vibe for spring. Hey guys, it's Lydia. If you're new to my channel, hi and welcome. And this week is gonna be a random vlog week in my life because it's the week leading up to Easter. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of fun things. So I thought it'd be super fun if I took you guys along with me. I'm gonna be doing some Easter shopping. I'm gonna be baking some new recipes. I'm gonna redecorate my coffee bar completely. I have a couple packages that I wanna open and share with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You don't wanna miss the videos coming soon. I'm going to an Avril Lavigne concert and it's gonna be so much fun. And don't forget to follow my Instagram and let's get right into it. So I actually just got my nails done for Easter and I have this beautiful little butterfly bracelet that is so perfect for spring. And so that actually leads me into the next part. This portion of the video is sponsored by Ana Luisa and I am so excited to share with you guys some of the pieces that I got. I actually am wearing one of their new pieces and it's just this beautiful dainty little butterfly bracelet this is so cute it doesn't even feel like you're wearing anything it is so comfortable but so elegant and it's a perfect way to dress up any outfit as you can see this makes it look so much cuter with the bracelet and I actually wanted to share with you guys that Ana Luisa is having a Mother's Day event and it's gonna be a BOGO buy one get one 40% off I will have a link in the description. You need to go check it out because you don't want to miss this sale. Their pieces are so beautiful. And they're perfect for staples in your jewelry collection, perfect for everyday wear. They're not just beautiful, but they're amazing quality. They're built so you can wear them in the water and they won't tarnish. They're perfect for sensitive ears and sensitive skin. And so these are the earrings I picked up. They're these beautiful gold little hoops come in this really cute little packaging case. This is great for travel. It's made with 100% recyclable material. So we love that. This is gonna be like my everyday earring. I'm obsessed with dainty little gold pieces. Like these are so cute, you guys. I'm gonna change into these and show you how they look on. Okay, and this is how the earrings look on. These are gonna be my new go-to earrings. I'm never taking these off. I also picked up this little gold croissant ring. This, this is so trendy right now and I've been wanting one of these that won't tarnish. And look how cute. This just made my Easter nails look a million times cuter. So definitely go check out Ana Luisa if you want some cute elevated pieces. I love that I don't have to worry about them tarnishing when I shower and I can just keep them in all of the time. One of my favorite things about Ana Luisa is that they're carbon neutral. And even their jewelry packaging is made with 100% recyclable material. So when you buy from them, you know you're supporting a really good sustainable brand and you're getting amazing pieces at great prices as well. You know, Lisa has so many different styles to choose from. You know you're gonna find something you love on there, whether you like more bold statement pieces or just timeless classy pieces. They really have everything. Make sure you go check out their page before the Mother's Day sale ends. Pick up a piece and show love, either yourself, your mom, someone you love, with Mother's Day coming up. I know you guys are gonna keep running back for more. I am gonna be giving one of these pieces to my mom. them all so much, so I don't know which one I'm gonna give her. I will have a link down in my description, so make sure you go check that out. Okay, so I'm running out to go grab some stuff from my coffee bar, and I just wanna show you my outfit super quick. It's wearing my Bloomingdale's bag. It's like a little saddle bag with my Zara corset top and jeans, and then obviously my new Ana Luisa pieces, the ring, the bracelet, and the earrings. Oh, I just picked up a couple things for the coffee bar and for the recipe, but I realized I'm gonna have to go back out because I forgot marshmallows to like actually make Rice Krispie squares. I just got this jumbo box here. I'm gonna make little peep mini egg nests. And then I got some colorful straws to decorate and some jars. This is a candle I already had, but I wanted to set it here because it's Rice Krispie treat. So that's gonna be super cute. I got these fake flowers. Then I have this little basket here. We have some mini eggs, some little egg chocolates, more chocolates. And then I picked up this super cute pastel Easter egg type mug. 
So we're gonna see what we can do with this. I have to go out and get some more stuff. This is my coffee bar before. There's literally nothing going on with it. It's so boring, so not cute. I haven't done anything to it since literally Christmas. Some just random coffees, teas, Christmas decor pieces on here. I need to set the vibe for spring. To start out with, I'm gonna just take everything off of here that I don't think will work for it. So I'm gonna keep the coffee machine. I keep this. I usually keep the little coffee signs here when I change it up and I usually keep the syrups as well. But I think instead of having teas and stuff in this jar, I'm gonna fill these with candies. If you did not even know this about me, I am the interior designer. Our apartment does not reflect that at all. And it is one of the things I actually hate most about it. I am a student and my boy my boyfriend's a student and it's actually our anniversary today. I'm just gonna start by clearing this off. Every time I change it up, I also spray it down with just dish soap. coffee machine always stays there because it is like the bigger platform it usually takes me like so much rearranging and i'm usually not satisfied with it for a couple of days it's located in the middle of our living room and bedroom kind of kitchen area so it's like the highest traffic area so every time i walk across i'll notice like one or two things i want to tweak so we're just going to play around with this and we'll see what we come up with with a bunch of straws and they came in a multi-pack so there's like red ones so I had to sort through them and just pick out the blue little polka dots and then so this is kind of what I have settled on for right now I definitely want to get more of these little marshmallow treats I have a pack of the strawberry ones but I did not like the way the red kind of blended in with the more pastels like the pink and lighter color eggs but i put these mugs down here and i love the way these tie in with the straws also love how the pink ties in with the candle here now i also kind of wanted to find a way to incorporate these little green pastel holes somehow i'm just not entirely sure how we're gonna do that yet i definitely know i want to so i'm kind of struggling figuring that out and then down here I have this little basket filled with mini eggs. And then up here, I just have these little windows. I'm gonna keep them in the little packages because I love how the green ties in with the flowers. I need to get some more marshmallows to finish this. I would like to put a flower or something like purple in here. But yeah, now I kind of know what I need to grab. But as of right now, this is the finished product. It's literally beautiful outside, so instead of going to the gym today, I'm gonna go for an outside run, and I just have on this gray zip up, my black Lulu lines. I'm just gonna stay in this top, because this works as like a bra too. Okay, I did it. I'm literally dead after that. After my run, I'm literally dripping in sweat, but I feel so good that I went outside and went to the gym. I ran 4.4K with no breaks, so that's pretty good for me. I'm still getting into it. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day, but if it's nice out, guys, I totally say go for a walk and get some movement in, and your mood will literally brighten so much, I promise you. Happy anniversary. Very windy. <laughs> I literally love the smell of this so much.
Okay guys, so I wanted to quickly show you what I got from Bath & Body Works. So I ended up picking up two hand soaps. We don't actually have a Bath & Body Works here. We just have a Price Mart which sells products. And a lot of them are stuff that Bath & Body Works like doesn't sell online. So we get like the rare collections. So I ended up picking up this pistachio cream puff foamy hand soap. I only like the foaming ones and I only like Bath & Body Works soaps. I also picked up Coastal Watermelon and I tried them both out already and I love this one because it smells so sweet. This one, the pistachio, smells really different on your hands opposed to like in the bottle when you first smell it. My favorite one always goes in my bathroom, so this one and then my other one always goes in my kitchen. impulsively bought literally six of them and everyone was looking at me running around like grabbing them literally two dollars each and i've been wanting these polos so bad okay guys i'm gonna make peep nest rice crispy squares and my little peeps i need a stick of butter i got into the mini eggs last night I actually made mini egg oats last night as a little snack and they taste like dino eggs if you guys have ever had those they're really good pastel marshmallows, and then a big box of Rice Krispies squares, and we're gonna get started. This is a recipe I end up making every single year, and they always turn out amazing and so cute. So all you're gonna need to do is make Rice Krispies. Once you scoop them onto the sheet, shape them into little nests. So to get started, I have this little pan pulled out, so when they're done cooking, I can just scoop them in and cool. I don't wanna make an overly huge batch, so I'm just gonna take a small size pan, turn the stove on to a low temperature so it'll melt the marshmallows, but it won't burn them to the point where they stick with the butter. So I just have it on a temperature of five, and so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to melt a little bit of this butter. So when I make Rice Krispies, I don't usually like measuring because I feel like you really, it is kind of an eyeball thing. So I'm gonna add a quarter stick of softened butter and we're just gonna melt this. I'm gonna stir the butter so it doesn't burn and I'm just gonna melt it down before I add the marshmallows. Once the butter is melted, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour in a third of these marshmallows. The hot butter makes them out so fast. And this step you're definitely gonna wanna keep stirring. And this is the part where you realize like if you need to add more marshmallows, if you need to add more butter. I like fluffy Rice Krispies the best. So I can stir it in better and then I'm gonna add more as we go. And I turned my stove down from five onto three. This is where the butter and the marshmallows will burn if you don't turn down at your temperature. This is just such a quick and fun, easy recipe for Easter. If you're having a little party, these are so cute. This takes maybe five to 10 minutes and then all you have to do is throw it in the fridge and let it cool. Once everything's all melted together and you can see this is a very thick texture, instead of scooping it onto a flat pan, you're going to scoop it into circle shapes. So here, and then you're going to shape it into a little circle and leave a little spot there so you can add the peep. And these are gonna be your little nests. Now that I've shaped them into my nest, I'm gonna put these in the fridge and let them cool for about 20 minutes. Also, another thing, depending on how you like the texture of your Rice Krispies, the more butter, the more gooey it'll taste, but the more Rice crispy, the more dense it'll be. Now that they've hardened, when you add the chocolate, it won't melt. So I'm just gonna scatter a bunch of the little pastel colors.
And the last step is to just add the little peeps on top and then you're all set. I think I'm gonna go with the yellow ones for this. And as you can see, it was so quick and easy to make. And there really is no mess. And you only need five ingredients. And this would be a great thing if you have kids, a fun little recipe to make with them. Okay, you guys, well, that is my cute little fun Easter recipe idea for a little snack or a little treat if you guys are looking for some inspiration. Take these home and surprise my boyfriend with them. Let me know in the comments down below if you try it out. Okay, taste test. Mm, I like that. Good. Hey, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I had so much fun making it, and I hope you found some inspiration in some of my recipes and decorating. Thanks again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. And make sure to go click the link in my description down below to go shop the Ana Luisa Mother's Day event sale. Get yourself something or your mother something. And just remember that you're supporting an amazing brand. You're gonna get great quality pieces. Sure to subscribe. You don't wanna miss the content I have coming soon. I post every Saturday and Wednesday. Make sure to follow my Instagram. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next one.